Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to Curtis Crafts and Things. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet a bracelet. So it's going to look just like this. Like this green one, because this purple yarn is kind of thicker. Um, so it's not going to look like that. Oh, I'm trying to pull it off. This one is very fitted. There we go. It's going to look just like that. Alrighty, so what you're going to need is yarn, scissors, and a crochet hook. So I have a five millimeter aluminum crochet hook. Your yarn will tell you what size crochet hook to use. If you just have like some spare loose yarn and it doesn't tell you, um, unless it is like really, really wide and you know you're gonna need a bigger one, um, a pretty average size crochet hook is a five millimeter. So yeah, but it is nice to have fresh yarn that you already know exactly what kind of crochet hook you need. First things first, we are going to make a slip knot. So first I'm going to get my pointer finger. Um, I'm going to get the end of my yarn, just like this much. Um, and what I did was I just like kind of turned it. Um, tie my pointer and then put my thumb in, pull, and then we're going to tie. And then we're going to grab the yarn that I'm holding over here. And there's a slip knot. So it's just a quick tutorial on how to make a slip knot there's probably more better more thorough ones but that's just quick now with our slip knot we're going to put it over the crochet hook tighten it just a little we still want to be a bit loose because if it is completely tight against the crochet hook you are not going to be able to crochet it and it's not going to work out <clears throat> so there's that now we are going to show you how to hold um yarn and the crochet hook so i just hold the crochet hook like this kind of like a pencil i guess um but you can hold it however feels comfortable for you um and then we're going to hold the yarn so we're going to get our pinky wrap it around going to get on the larger piece here then we're going to get my pointer wrap it around get my thumb in my middle hold on to that smaller piece of yarn give it some tension and there's how you hold it. So now we're going to yarn over. So this is yarning over and how you make your first chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my yarn. I'm going to go around the back of my crochet hook, turn it, and then pull it through this loop right here. And that was one chain. Now we're going to pull back a little bit to make my hole a little bit bigger again. Wrap around, down, through the loop. Sorry, my loop was like kind of on the smaller side, so I was having trouble. Pull a little bit, pull on that yarn, make sure your loop's big, yarn over. Perfect. Now I'm going to continue making chains until I have a good size for a bracelet. So I like didn't get enough yarn, so it's gonna be a super tiny bracelet, but I can still demonstrate. So I just took the loop off of my crochet hook. Now I'm gonna get this little bit of yarn and feed it through the loop. Pull that through, just kind of tie that down so we have a nice tight thing so that our crochet will not fall apart. Um, now what I'm going to do is just kind of cut off little excess so this one is not gonna have as much crochet since i ran out or well yeah i can just kind of tighten it so you're just gonna get your yarn do a regular just like knot and then another just knot And then we're going to cut off a little bit of the excess. Still leave some. So see, I made that super tiny on accident. But that is how you're going to make your bracelet. You're just going to probably have a bigger size because you did not make a little baby bracelet. But you could give this to a baby. It'd be so cute. Just a little baby. Sorry. Anyway, that is how you um, make a slip knot, yarn over slash make chains, and make a little baby bracelet or a bracelet. <laughs>
I hope you feel like you learned something today. If not, I really apologize. Um, but anyway, have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and share this video and comment down below. Bye, guys.